Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. For exclusive content, please join us at patreon.com slash Bowling. I'm excited to announce our new partnership with Purit Bowling. Visit our partner puritbowling.com and use the special code TAMR when making a purchase to be entered into a monthly drawing. Today we're testing the Motive T10 Limited Edition. We are testing on 40 foot house shot and a 40 foot PBA Don Johnson pattern. First impressions, why Motive? Why? Why make such a good ball a limited edition? For value, we gave the T10 an A-. It's a top-notch benchmark ball. It looks like it'll have excellent versatility. I guess the only mark against its value will be that it's, it's limited status, which limits availability eventually and may affect price. Overall, we gave it an A on house shot, B plus on sport shot. Plain and simple, the T10's a great piece for Motive. The interesting thing here, everything Motive says about the T10 is really spot on from a technical standpoint. The T10 is versatile. Motive said, and I quote, this core is ideal for creating a benchmark motion that is deliberately smooth with a powerful back end reaction. This is accurate. In my opinion, this is one of, if not the best covers developed by Motive. It's on, it's on another one of my favorites, the Villain. There are two core shapes that translate consistently to great ball motion in my opinion, the light bulb and the hourglass. The thrust is like the ladder, it creates enough smooth lope to get decent length, which then seems to transition at the same time as the cover, which makes this ball really pop down lane to get consistent, strong back end. Short version, this is a symmetric version of the villain. It's a perfect complement if you need a more continuous motion when the ASIM sets a bit too much and runs out of steam. On top of that, you now also have the Scorn as a pearl version of the villain, but that's for another review. For Cody, this ball is definitely not weak. The core is very continuous and really offers the same shape as the villain, but more of that symmetric pop down lane. It really went through the pins noticeably well. The interesting thing is when, even when he got it out to the friction, it still came roaring back. Um, he's pretty close to the fourth arrow, mind you. Um, it's great to find a ball with excellent mid lane control, but that great motion down lane as well. Usually you give one up for the other to some extent. For myself, with a lower rev rate than Cody, I don't see as big motion, but its relationship to the villain is, is the same. Control symmetric if the villain is too much. Of course, uh, you know they have the same cover, so the core is completely responsible for the delta. It looks fairly smooth in the video, and, and it is, but what doesn't totally show is the down lane movement, and this seems like an easy benchmark ball that you can actually use since it will carry. Um, you can see the inside balls um, held very nicely and still carried in the flood zone while the shots to the outside really came back strong almost over hooking really confidence boosting when you can trust the ball that way you know a ball is good when it works for every style tester and obviously there are no guarantees this translates 100 percent but brian had a good look like the rest of us not much more to add for him just like us he can get the ball out and get it to bounce back nicely from that friction, or you can just stuff it, uh, you know, in the, in the higher volume and crush the pocket. We tested on the 40 foot PVA Don Johnson pattern, and the T10 looked almost identical here as it did on the house shot. Obviously, it's the same length pattern but it made the shot almost look easy and then that speaks to its control characteristics. Maybe it's a little bit of Cody, um, but anyway, for me, I also found it very similar. The sport shot gave me a bit more back end bite, which actually I really didn't need, um, but it still looked good. Final thoughts? Oh, the frustration. The T10 should be a regular lineup ball and not a limited edition. Uh, this ball is an excellent symmetric benchmark ball with both a reliable mid lane read and good back end. You trust it and it repays you. It's worth picking up while they're available.